Hey YouTube. Well, y'all see uh well most a lot of us haven't seen it. West Coast it hasn't even shown yet. It shows at nine o'clock. This uh show Ayana Van Zant with uh Leandria Johnson. There's some uh I forget the name of the station, but a way you can be able to see it earlier on YouTube. So I just saw it. Now, I'm not a big fan of, of Ayanna Van Zandt's show. Not that I have anything against her. I just haven't watched a lot of it. Uh, but I've been waiting for this episode for, well, since it first was announced that she was going to do it. I, think, I thought this, this episode was good. I was struck by how meek and uh, passive Leandria is. And I believe that's probably what the alcohol did for her. You have to realize that People do drugs and alcohol and such. It's not just for escape. Sometimes the alcohol, it does something for for you. Right? Or you wouldn't do it. If it didn't do anything for you, you wouldn't do it. So, for me, it was obvious that the alcohol allowed Leandria to get the way we saw her in all those clips. Right? Which is real, real honest, but real real inappropriate <laughs> so it's a process i know she's in the early stages of her process she's uh wearing an ankle bracelet bracelet she got caught with dui and now she's uh she's got to find herself back to her career connect with her career so i believe this thing here was set up by her her, uh, the guy who owns owns or runs the uh, record company she's with, record label manager, I think it's called. He was on here. Her brother was on here. And then a good friend of hers who is also her road manager is on here on that show. And uh, so it was the, the record executive's idea for her to come on this show, which makes sense. It's publicity. It's a way maybe to help people to understand what she's been through and accepting her back. And I think it's brilliant, to be honest. Uh, if Leandria was on there screaming and hollering, you know, acting crazy, then uh, maybe it wouldn't be such a good idea because people have to go through what they have to go through. But she seems like she's open to getting help. And this is a way that, that she can find her way back into her singing career. Now, because I, I am a drug addict, alcoholic. People in 12-step, uh, Alcoholics Anonymous, like to say that you're always an alcoholic. Well, my, my, my feeling about it is a little different than that because I haven't had a drink in something like 30 years. Let's see, 17, something like that. Yeah, I've been clean for 17 years. I used for 17, that's 34 years. I, uh, so I don't believe I'm alcoholic. I don't crave alcohol. I don't drink crazy. But at the same time, I uh, I understand that I can never drink alcohol. So it's somatics, really. Uh, when you drink, you're alcoholic. So you don't drink. I consider myself delivered from alcohol. Because when I found crystal meth, I stopped the alcohol. And I never had a desire for alcohol again. So was I ever an alcoholic? A person who can't drink. So... I think I differ with Ayana. That's a good job. I mean, she she is a professional life coach or spiritual coach or however she defines herself. But I don't know that it was necessarily necessary to go into these other guys because they said they were friends of hers that she should go after their, their jobs now. She seemed to be implying that her road manager could not be her her road manager because he was her friend. She would she rather him be her friend than her her road manager. It's not the road manager's fault. It ain't the road manager's fault that he did not take that woman and snatch the alcohol out of her hand. It's up to the person, the alcoholic. Leandria going to do whatever Leandria chooses to do, and it doesn't matter who her manager is. Putting a manager in there who's not her friend is not going to make her stop her from drinking. So I don't. I differ with her on that. She did the same thing with the record company. She asked him, uh, "Would you be her friend, even if if it means uh, letting her go from the record company?" No, and this girl does not need to be going in people's business like that. 
Leander is an alcoholic, like like hundreds of thousands of other people are. I think Ayanna is right that she needs to go to 12-step meetings, but 12-step, it is not a life sentence, honey. She goes there until she figures out who she is, and she learns some, some uh, what well, I learned, I should say, uh, some critical information about staying clean, about what's safe and what's not safe, about connecting in a spiritual way, which I think she has that part. That, that part won't, that'll be her least hard part. But there are many things you learn in 12 step that you can carry through for the rest of your life that are going to help you. Those are spiritual steps. And uh, so Ayana is not taking the place of 12, ongoing 12 step group. She's trying to lead her into it. I was surprised Leandra said she'd never been to AA meeting. I would think that part of her, if she's in a drug program, I thought a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago, they showed her entering a drug program. So I thought that's where she lived for the moment. So hopefully she is in some kind of program. Yeah, there's two different things here. So they, they, may, they mentioned nothing about her being in treatment right now. They mentioned her having the ankle, ankle bracelet and getting out of jail. Right, so I don't know. I, she, she, uh, Ayana should not go in there and wreck this girl's singing career so everybody can be her friend. That is not going to do nothing, in my opinion. She, If she's going to sing, she's going to have to have a record label. Now, are these record people going to be going over her house to make sure she's not drinking? Are they going to be telling her, put down the drink? No, you're, you're killing yourself. It's a business. It's a business, Ayana. It's like if somebody came in and told you that uh, you need to separate from uh, own network because you got a problem. No, it's not the issue. What is the problem? You want to address the problem. Anyway, so Leandra is a very talented woman, and I'm rooting for her. I'm hoping that she will get the help she needs. I think the show is not, it's not, I, it's why the reason I don't watch this show is because I think, oh, it's all put on, you know, they're all playing a role, whatever. But I think this is pretty sincere. I think it was it was instigated by the record company executive. He said as much. He wasn't trying to hide it. And he was willing to call her an alcoholic. But now these people are in business, Ayana. They're not to be holding these people's hands and making them not drink. If a person, an alcoholic, wants to drink, they will drink. Now, it is said that the therapeutic... The therapeutic benefit of one alcoholic helping another is the thing that's been most proven to work. So in other words, most people get help. They go to 12-step meetings and they are among their peers. That seems to work best. So Ayanna would be, even if she's, I don't know if she's an actual therapist, she would be somewhere in the, in the yeah, she's not going to be able to heal this girl. She can lead her to to twelve step, and then Leander will have to take it from there, right? But one alcoholic helping another it was what works best. That's why you go to drug programs. There are people who are just educated counselors and so forth, but the the majority of of counselors in drug programs are alcoholics, are former alcoholics, however you want to call it, themselves. That works best. That somehow or other, people are willing to, to open up a lot more with other people because of the same thing. Right? Okay, so, what are her chances? She's willing to be public about it, so she's going to be held accountable. Uh, yeah. Chances are great. She's not a little girl. I mean, it, the older you get, the easier it gets, in my opinion. You know what I mean? But uh, apparently she hasn't been in a lot of trouble. She's been a functioning alcoholic for all these years. But by her coming, being public about it, I think it's a, a good first step for her. Uh, admitting that she has this problem, big step for her. On uh, the interviews I've seen, she's already accepted that she's an alcoholic. In this particular show, this might be part of the, the uh, what you call uh, the scripted part. She's saying that she doesn't say she's an alcoholic. Now, there's one thing that did disturb me 
when she said, I'm not going to stop drinking. I'm just going to not drink as much. That's not going to happen. I can tell you right now, that's not going to happen. That takes out the whole word alcoholic. If you were, if you are alcoholic, that means you, you don't have the ability to control your drinking. You might control it for a week or two, but if you are an alcoholic, you just say you're an alcoholic, then no, you can't just drink a little bit. It's like me doing a little bit of crystal meth. <laughs> How long would that last? So she is where she is. I think this is two parts. So I saw the, the first part tonight. And I'll be looking for the other parts. But be encouraged, people. People who will struggle yourself. Maybe this story will help help people. It helps. I'm sure to help people. To see her come through with through this thing and come out on the other side of it. Right? You have to get to the point where you're willing to do anything. So when she was about to run away and they stopped her, and Ayana come out the bushes quoting scripture, she's got some good ones too. Lean not on to your own understanding. That's truth. Well, when I was in prison, my understanding was 12-step alcoholic anonymous, right? But I was led away from that. I put all my faith in God the obsession was taken away without the 12-step program. This 17 years, it hasn't included 12-step program. But that doesn't mean that it didn't work. See, I already had all of that exposure already. I had been in 12-step years before. I knew the steps. I knew the things that were dangerous. The do's and the don'ts. So, anyway. I would definitely check in with this when it com completes. I, I think it's she's she uh she's uh on saturdays so maybe it'll be next week but uh yeah it was an impressive show but i don't think ayana needs to be getting it all in their personal business like that just because someone loves you and they're your friend don't mean that they can't do their job they are not making that girl drink you know she's wrong there in my opinion later people that, that's i'm not even gonna qualify that it is enablers because if you have a business and somebody's got to be on that stage, then you have to get them on the stage. That's the business part. The personal part is her alcoholism. 